Hi, my name is James, and I just love using the iPod Touches and iPhones. They're so fun, you can just like touch them, you turn them on, you can get on them, it helps you um, do math, you can use a calculator if you're stumped on a question, and just if you, um, when you grow up, if you want to f know how to fly a plane, this will teach you how to fly a plane. And you can see how your stocks are doing on this, check the weather, if there's rain coming up on, this, on the schedule, you can... Uh, Go on the App Store, you can get all sorts of apps, over 200,000 apps on the App Store. And you can get apps actually to help you learn how to speak Spanish on this thing. And you can, even if you already know how to speak Spanish, there's an app for learning English, French. You can learn all sorts of stuff on this thing. And it's touch, there's, there's no buttons, you just slide it, and you can enter your passcode, you slide it around. You can go to an app like my battery app and check out how your battery is doing. And then you can just basically almost use it for on the web that you want to. And I don't, really don't know what else to say. It's amazing what these things can do. Hello, this is Linda Bird from Greater Atlanta Christian School. Beginning in the fall of 2010, Apple will be launching the largest digital learning environment in the nation. As part of that environment, we will be learning today how to use the iPod Touch Power Sync Cart. Before we begin our lesson about syncing the power cart today, there are several parts of the syncing cart that you need to be familiar with. One of the parts would be the power cord, in addition, you will also need to be familiar with where the power button is. We also have two sinking cables. The top one goes to the top drawer, and the bottom one goes to the bottom drawer. Another part of the sinking cart that you need to be familiar with would be the drawers where the iPod touches are stored. We have two drawers in which the touches are stored. You can open the top drawer, and remember there's a power cable that uh, is connected to the top drawer. Inside are eye touches that have cables attached to them. And the bottom drawer also has the same. Each syncing cart will have a MacBook to go along with it in order for you to sync your apps to your iPod touches. To begin syncing the power cart, we will plug the power cord into the outlet. Then we will also turn on the power switch. After the power switch is on, we will then connect the top drawer syncing cable to the MacBook. We will also uh, attach the sinking cable for the bottom drawer to the MacBook. When plugging in the sinking cables, please ensure that the cable prongs are facing up 
before plugging it into the MacBook. To connect the iPod Touch to the syncing card, you will need to attach the cable to the iPod Touch and make sure it is securely connected. When it is securely connected, you will see the yellow indicator light. When you see the yellow indicator light, that lets you know that the iPod Touch is connected properly. The blue indicator light lets you know that the iPod Touches are actually charging. When they are completely charged, the indicator light will turn green. We will begin today by installing the application on the MacBook. At a later date, you will be learning how to access applications in the iTunes app store. You will begin by selecting the iTunes symbol. We will go to the app store. For purposes of this particular lesson, we're going to download Kids Math Ace and you will put that in the search menu and hit enter. Now there are some free applications and those are the ones that we as teachers really love. So I find that there is one that is free and so we're going to download that particular one by clicking our mouse on the word free. and it will actually download it to your applications. Over in the, on the left side of the menu bar, you will see the words apps. You will go to your menu and you will find Kids Ace Math by scrolling up or down to find it. We will now sync this app to the iPods. However, for the sake of this demonstration and to avoid violating iTunes usage terms, we will not sync the 24 iPods to Shelly's MacBook. Instead, we will sync her iPhone to her MacBook. This process will be the same for syncing the iPod Touches. Connect the iPhone to the MacBook using the syncing cable, just as you would connect the iPod syncing card to the MacBook. You will notice that Shelly's iPhone was recognized immediately. However, please keep in mind that this process will take longer for the syncing cart. Select the appropriate iPods from the device list. In this case, Shelly's iPhone. Click on the Apps tab and type in Kids Math Ace and place a check beside Kids Math Ace. You will also click on the Apply button at the bottom of the screen. This will sync the application to the iPods. After the syncing process is complete, eject the iPods from the MacBook by clicking the button here. Your app should appear on, the, on one of the screens. It is best if this process is done overnight.